What's good, my YouTube friends? It's Retro Gamer Yasuke here, and today we'll be playing Bit Generations Orbital with, um, through the emulator. I'm oh, sorry about that. Sorry about that, you guys. Uh, through the emulator Visual Boy Advance M. Now, my name is Retro Gamer Yasuke, as I stated earlier, and if you haven't already, please give leave a like comment and subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be notified on future videos that I may present in the future. Normally when I put out a video, you know what I'm saying, I'll make a video maybe weeks, maybe like a full month and you know what I'm saying, stack up like, you know, like 10 videos and then I'll have them out coming weeks, weeks at a time. Like today, I'll give you a prime example of what I mean. Like today is July 18th. I literally have videos coming out until August um, 10th, and I probably won't even put this video up until like I finish all the Bit Generation games. Um, I recently had to factory reset my computer, so I had to recalibrate everything, all my emulators, all my music, all my um, everything. So I lost some save states and I lost some some, some stuff, but. Uh, Nothing too important, like my ROMs and stuff like that. Uh, they're all they're all intact. So um, I'm gonna start doing something new. Um, you know, saying I like to take baby steps with my channel. So if you made it to this video, uh, just know that if you have subscribed to me, um, I will put a, a shout out at the end of my videos to everybody who subscribed to me. That my um, YouTube Studio informed me of um, subscriptions of. Let me explain. Um, I have 19 subscribers today, um, according to today, but only 10 subscribers um, names I can see. And I think one of those subscribers um, had like unsubscribed from me um, after like a day. I uh, guess he didn't like my content, but he's still up on there, so, you know what I'm saying, I resubscribed to him and everything, um, anyway, the thing is, uh, I'm gonna start giving out shoutouts at the end, so if you are someone who are just, who is just getting into YouTube, and, you know what I'm saying, you, you don't have to subscribe to me, right, this is not just a way for you to subscribe to me, but if you would like a shoutout, right, um, if you do subscribe to me, you definitely be on that shout out list. And I'm not going to say shout out to all my subscribers. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to just say shout out to these people right here and check out these channels right here. So, you know what I'm saying? Have some content ready when you subscribe to me because when I catch it and I put your name up there, you know what I'm saying? Somebody might be like, well, let's see what this channel got going on. Normally, people who subscribe to me are people like uh, myself who who play games, video games. Um, I think I have one person who subscribed to me. Uh, I'm not going to name, name no names. Um, but uh, he doesn't actually play video games. He just subscribed to me. I don't even think he has any videos up, to be honest. But, uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's going to be my new thing at the end of my videos. I'm going to just uh, put up a little title card or something like that before my ending card that I usually have with my music. Um, so yeah, enough of the talk. It's been about five minutes already. Let's get into this game. I'm, I'm actually watching this uh, gameplay as I'm talking. I actually did that with the other game. Um, dot stream as well because I have no idea what's going on with these games and it's probably better that I get a, a, a slight understanding of what's going on like I can tell right there you're not supposed to hit the planets but you can orbit you can orbit around them hence the name orbital but yeah let's get into this man all right we're gonna select the galaxy it looks like Saturn and I can't go to another one I want to say that's the Milky Way. I want to say that's just a regular eclipse. The next one under probably looks like something out of 
something out of Men in Black, right? Like Orion's Belt. This one, the next one after that looks like the moon, and then the last one just looks like Earth or a super Earth, like uh, uh, what's another Earth out there? Oh, okay. So I was looking up Earths, right? It was like 2014, and I was like, man, is there another planet out there that's habitable? You know what I'm saying? And there are. There's a lot of them. And the one that I came across is called a Kevlar 22B. Look that up. It's an actual planet. It's in the habitable zone. Oh crap, I can't move. Okay. B moves in a different direction. Okay, I see what's going on. Can I loop around? Okay. Anyway, yeah, so there's other planets out there that's in this habitable zone of Earth. Oh, crap. Do I have a moon? I have a moon. Oh, man. This game... I'm not understanding it. Oh man, I just ran right into that. I don't know what the red is. And I don't know what the blue is. But I can't move left and right. Even with the R buttons. A is red, B is blue. Okay. Looks like A it. Okay, A looks like it. Gravity is pulling. Oh, crap. I'm not understanding. See, I pressed A, and I think I lost all my lives. Of course, I want to retry that. Oh, let me get back to the good juicy juicy. Okay, so, the habitable zone, right? There's a habitable zone out there that our sun presides the habit habitable zone of... I'm going to just write this until I catch that blue thing. And, um... They have different Earths, and some of them is called Super Earths because they're bigger than this planet. Oh crap. They're bigger than this planet, per se. Oh man. I thought that was... Okay, I think the only thing I can grab are these blue things and these white things. Okay, and now that I'm bigger, I can pick up that other planet that I just see. It has its own gravitational pull. Oh, that, that just made me huge. Okay. What is that? What is that? What is that? Oh, push me away. Oh, I pushed away. Okay. So these habitable zones, okay, there it is. Those habitable zones, right? Oh. Wait a minute, why am I not getting caught by the axis? I'm not understanding why I'm not getting caught by... Oh, 
don't touch that. I wanted to know what that was. Anyway, um, okay, back to the hell those zone. Sorry. Got, uh, brain fuzzy. Alright. So, these habitable zones have uh, plant life on them. That's what makes them habitable. Plant life. Um, there's trees. Trees mean oxygen, carbon dioxide, you know what I'm saying, stuff we can breathe. There's water, like this uh, Kevlar 22B one has double the amount of water that we have Damn. Um, on this planet, which is just insane. Well, it's not insane. It's a different word. What word am I trying to use here? Um... get off of that get off of that uh it's just crazy it's just crazy right because we don't even know what's going on with our own ocean because of you know water pressure kills us um yeah i'm good i'm coming for you gotcha all right um there's another one that's also a Kevlar. Gotcha. Okay. Get away from that. Oh, B B B B B. Okay. Oh, damn. Damn, I was right on it. Oh. Okay, this stuff is too hard to navigate. Like the gravity fields. Okay. Um, there's one planet that has, uh, like, um, okay, I see what I'm gonna do. And we off. Ah, oh, what the hell? I did that perfect. I thought. same planet but you guys got to look it up like say uh go to google right and say is there any other planets in the um habitable zone that's what you want to look for oh man the habitable zone is basically um the right amount of atmosphere the right amount of sun you know what i'm saying i don't know about you guys but uh it's been getting extra hot around here. It's like the sun's getting closer to us and we're not paying attention or we don't care enough to pay attention. But um, we gotta do something. I'm glad that Elon Musk is trying to, um, you know what I'm saying, play Star Trek and uh, colonize another another uh place
Did that do it? Ah, oh, I had to catch me in my gravity. Alright, I think I did good. Now I kind of understand. Anyway, I like the fact that Elon Musk is trying to colonize other planets. Real, uh, savvy of him. You know, I am black and I don't like colonization, but when it comes to the sanctity of the human race, I mean, come on now. If this world decides to blow up or something happens to it, oh man, we definitely need, like, a different, um, Gotcha. Um, we definitely need another place to go. And we do need to understand that, uh, you know, money is, is like, they say money is the root of all evil, but money is the reason why there's still oil for cars and gas emissions in the world, like all these factories and stuff. Like, we can really elevate ourselves. We wasn't so hung up on money. And it's not us that's hung up on money. It's the people who actually have the money, who's actually, you know what I'm saying, running this thing. Like, let's be real here. If everybody, um, renewable energy, I, I was doing a, um, I was doing a, a survey one time for renewable energy and people were sitting there getting upset talking about some oh that's just that's they gave me some crackpot as a uh, explanation why um it was a political explanation anyway um of why renewable energy is is bad and oh crap that's wrong but <laughs> well how renewable energy is bad and um all this other stuff, man. I was, I was trying to understand what was, what happened. Like, you know what I'm saying? Renewable energy. I'm talking like, okay. So you guys are familiar with a solar panel, right? Okay, so that's considered, okay, that's considered renewable energy because you're basically recycling the energy that's already given to you by the sun. Um, recycling the energy that's already given to you by the sun, right? Free of charge for your house, for your for your own house. So just um, I don't know what country you guys live in, but um, some of us have to pay the electric bill, basically the electric bill. So it's like it's called PG&E where I'm from. Um, but uh, if you had a freaking Oh, I am pressing B. I am literally pressing that. That is crazy. <laughs> um. Okay. So, um, where was I at? So the so a solar panel. Let's say you buy, you have a home. You have finally purchased your first home. So you want to get a solar panel, right? You want to get a solar panel so you do not have to pay the light bill, the gas bill. You know what I'm saying? The solar panel is basically um if you ever seen like a ti-85 you better have right but if you ever came across a ti-85 um calculator you know what i'm saying you can put your finger on a little solar panel part and it'll and it'll fade out right because it blocks out from the sun but as long as there's a light source right as long as there's a light source you'll definitely have the energy to um, use everything you need so you can you can have the light on all day long. You can sit there and uh, run the gas all day long. I mean, I wouldn't do it, but you can sit there and run your gas all day long. Oh my god. Um, 
run your gas all day long. Okay, how am I gonna do this? And all the night. And then all of this, gotcha. All of this you're doing, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, um, free. Free. Because there's an unlimited light source in the sky. It's called the sun. And then when the moon comes out, there's a moon. There's a moon um, light source. Especially the, um, if there's no clouds, right? So you'll definitely have energy all day long, all the time. And these companies who profit from the oil and all these other damaging things to the earth. Oh man, where is he going? And I want all of that. I want all of that. Give me that, give me that. Oh, I got, I got. Damn. Give me that. Oh, I freaking. Who gotcha? Um. Okay, these oils and these companies and these people who are in power are making money off of this. And you're sitting there wondering why the gas prices is raising up, man. If you had an electric whip, you ain't got to worry about the gas price going up. And I'm not saying that you won't have to pay anything. That's a common misconception with people. When you try to understand, get them to understand something. They feel like just because you, you, you're paying for one thing, it's the equivalent of paying for another thing. And that is nowhere near the case in this situation. Especially when it comes to, like, the environment. Like, first of all, you live here, just like everybody else. There's a different generation. There's going to be another generation after us. Um, and if you're a 90s kid like me, you're, you're, you're going to be in your 40s within a decade. <laughs> I mean, you know, within a, in a decade plus a few years. Like, I'm already 30. 31. So, I got nine years, and I'm going to be in my 40s, you know. It would be nice that I that I don't have to pay. Ooh, got that. Damn. Um, a whole bunch of money just to keep somebody else. Here we go. Just to keep somebody else happy and they pockets full. I'd rather have my own pockets full. Oh man, that was a wrong thing. Oh, come on. Oh man. 
I can gently do it. Let's come back. Come back over here. Oh man, I'm doing terrible now. Oh, they cheated me right there. And I can't steer. I just want to go up. <laughs> some solar panels it's not only good for the environment but it's like less money you have to pay right it doesn't matter if you're a republican or a democrat the more money that you keep in-house for you the better seriously you don't have to pay a whole bunch of companies and big companies this that and the other to make a statement because the only statement that's that's actually making oh only step with uh statement that's actually making is you're a dumbass first of all it's good to support any business but when you support a business that's def definitely not supporting you like come on now you gotta <laughs> prioritize your your uh, situation Line. Oh, come on, planet. Oh, I got you this time. Yeah. I press B all the way. I am doing really good. I am doing very good. I kind of like this game. It's kind of wonky, kind of weird, but I'm on stage seven. Like, come on now, I'm doing something right. Oh, is that me? Get up there, get up there. 
Oh man, I was too close to that. Come on. Cause I know that's the one I need. Oh man. Shot off into space. Don't intercept, don't intercept. Okay, intercept. Now let me get it. Man, that's going straight into a... Uh... Oh, man. So now that I grab this... This... What is this? A moon thing? The music change. I don't know if that's good or bad. But I really want to grab this... Uh, grab this. Don't hit it. Don't hit it. Oh, why are you hitting it? Only got three left. I really want to grab this thing. Once I find it. Should not hit. Good. All right. What is this? What is this? Oh, I guess I got satellites. I want to get a bonus for that. Whatever that's supposed to be. Maybe it counted as two. What is this? Is this me? Oh, this is me. Catch up to that blue thing. And it doesn't look like I'm gonna be catching up to that blue thing anytime soon. Am I am I 
closing ground? I'm not. Oh. Terrible. it again. That one was very close. This game is so peaceful. I really like it. I mean, I don't know how many stages there are, but this game is really cool. Thank you. 
Wow. I thought I had that in the bag. Explore some stars. No. Okay, one more shot. No. Darn it. Darn it. Do not be the last one. Please give me another one. Generations Orbital. Um, sorry for my little rant. Um, it's just a peaceful game. It was quiet, so I decided to talk. Probably wasn't a good idea. Anyway, yeah. Uh, maybe later I use this visual, visual Boy Advance M. And yeah, it's Retro Gamer Yasuke here. You can leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And um, yeah, you'll definitely catch me in the next one, you guys. So uh, peace out.